Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I got a weird update for Craven the Hunter. Well, as many of you know, to say that Sony Pictures is struggling a little bit with their Spider-Man spin-off movies is a bit of an understatement. The Venom franchise has been well received, but the second movie did get a lower fan response and box office, and let's just be clear, Morbius was a bomb. Now the next thing up in the Sony library is Kraven the Hunter, and as a fan of that character, I'm pretty excited about this movie, especially with the casting of Aaron Taylor Johnson, but recently the actor has talked a little bit about the part, and I have to say, I'm a little scared. Now, as many of you know, in the comics, he's one of Spider-Man's most classic villains. His real name is Sergei Kravenoff, and he's a big game hunter that eventually turned his attention to going after Spider-Man because he was what he saw the most worthy prey in the world. Now, as the comics have evolved, he has moved into more the anti-hero category versus villain, but he has always been a hunter and never had any qualms about killing animals. Unfortunately, it sounds like, based on this interview with Variety Johnson did, that's not going to be the case in the movie. Now, during the movie, he said, One of Marvel's iconic, notorious anti-heroes, Spider-Man's number one rival. Not an alien or a wizard, he's just a hunter, a human with conviction, an animal lover and a protector of the natural world. He's a very, very cool character. Now, I have to say, Craven the Conservationist is not really something I was expecting. I grew up in hunting culture, and I did know people who were hunters and were also conservationalists, and had a really weird, what seeming to be respect for the creatures that they hunted. So this isn't a stretch for many hunters that exist in the real world. But, in the comics, Craven is often a bloodthirsty hunter, and exactly the opposite of that kind of person. So it does sound like they're making another major departure from the comics for this film. I have to say, I find this rather frustrating. Sony seems to have this consistent problem with not getting to know their characters and their origin stories, where they come from, and why they connect with fans. This was really obvious during Morbius, and there's even been parts of Venom and how they've laid out their universe that make it super clear Sony doesn't understand a lot of their Spider-Man characters, and I fear now this will be another example of exactly that kind of blundering. Now, one upside he did point to in the interview, I will say, though, is that it's being shot entirely on location, which does make me happy, considering the type of movie this should be, getting the natural environment around Craven is important, and there is no better way than to shoot it on location. Now, the cast for the film is pretty good, and that is also an upside. Russell Crowe is playing an undisclosed role, which is most likely his father. Fred Heschinger is the chameleon. Ariana DeVos is Calypso, which is probably my favorite casting. And Alessandro Navala has been cast as an unnamed villain, which could be something pretty interesting and a deep dive for Marvel Comics. Now, there's also no signs of that classic costume as of yet, and this is also something that's kind of concerning considering how far of a departure this might be from the comics. If he's a conservationalist, that would kind of make sense, I guess, for that version of the character. A guy that's supposed to stand up for animals probably wouldn't wear a lion pelt as a coat, so I understand why they didn't go in that direction, but it doesn't make the decision to make this version of Craven probably a wise one. Now, the movie is set to hit theaters on January the 13th, 2023, so we have about six months to wait. I'm actually hoping for some more official shots, and a trailer maybe 90 days or so from today. We could get a trailer by the end of the summer, but we'll have to wait and see. We're going to continue to try to cover Craven as much as we can. I am trying to remain optimistic about this movie, but I do have some worries, and I fear we might have another Morbius on our hands. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to get all the updates for Craven, and we'll have to wait and see. Until then, tell me what you guys think. How do you feel about Craven the Hunter being the more anti-hero version of the character? And is there any version of Craven to you that would be a conservationalist? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.